Hello everybody, welcome back to what is the final part of Tech and the Great Juju Challenge. In the last part, we essentially finished the game. We've got one little thing left we gotta do though. A little side quest, if you will. This, yeah, Gates of Nocturne. Let's go. Now, I'm not sure if you have to finish these levels or just get to a specific point, but... I'm gonna go through and finish them anyways. Until you have to go through all the ending stages of all the worlds again. At least the first three worlds. Not necessarily the last one. You can, you can get ingredients if you want. We don't really need ingredients anymore. In fact, score doesn't even matter so much. Just gotta beat up enough enemies to open up the gates. Which shouldn't take us terribly long. So we've already seen these levels once, so I'm going to try not to waste everybody's time by going through all these again. No, wakey wakey! Oh, wait a minute, you know what? Actually, wait a minute. Hmm. I wonder. We'll see. Nothing! Okay, well, had to try. Still, this is tad disappointing. This is what we've been needing. Everyone needs a baby rhino in their lives. Yeah, good luck jumping onto the rhino without getting beaten. We shouldn't need two rhinos. But, meh. Nah. Whatever floats your boat, I suppose. Maybe still kind of just run into my horn. Come on. Huh? Oh, I, uh, missed the art of teleportation. That's clearly what happened. Uh-huh. No need to double-check that. It's legit. <sighs> now, where's Locke? Is he even coming? <sighs> He's not, is he? He got himself stuck on the gate. <sighs> the AI in this game sometimes, it's... It's so 6th gen! <sighs> Whatever. Done with the first segment of this level, I think. Yeah, we're essentially done. Gotta run to the gates, but... Ugh. What's that gonna be? I was looking at the mosquito, because why not? Ingredients at your score, so there's something, I guess. Here we are. Help! Hey! Anybody! Help over here! Run? What are you doing here? Ah, oh, we just saw you hanging out with Axeman! That's not me! That's the Dark Juju! The Dark Juju? Who's that? Powerful Juju who's been helping us succeed. Hey, you mean cheat you cheat and cheater. He cast a spell on the two-headed Juju. He planted Grandma Stonecrusher's false teeth. But after our last defeat, he and Bartok decided to get rid of what they called the weakest link. Me, Krug, the great and mighty shaman of the Black Mist. A man who can turn toads into women. Really? Whoa! Oh, we gotta check that out! Why? Yeah, because that would just be so cool to no see. No doubt to rule the world! The Dark Juju keeps talking about finally being able to tell the Moon Juju what to do! Meet me back at the Caster's Hill Challenge. Perhaps I can help you defeat them! Look like women, or do they have toad faces? Toad faces. Oh! I haven't got that part worked out yet. Oh, never mind. Come on, Locke. We've got to get to the bottom of this. So, the challenge begins. I'm going to finish up this level and head off to Caster's Hill. See you guys in a second.
Okay, so we're back here. Uh, Cassis Hill's next level you have to go to. In the case... I didn't mention anything that you didn't know. Yeah, you have to do it in this order. So you have to start off against Nocturne. You have to come to Cassis Hill. In the level after this, you have to go there too. After you finish this. Which again, I don't actually know if you have to finish the level. But you definitely have to get to the point where the cutscene is triggered. That much I know for certain. I don't know. To be honest, I actually haven't known about this side quest for terribly long. Probably because I really, really don't like Gates of Nocturne. And that's the level that you need to play first. Just because that ending sequence in that level scares me off. I don't quite remember how far you have to get this all. I think it's the same way as it was in Gates of Nocturne, where you have to get to the very beginning of the second segment. But, but we'll see. Oh, that was a fruit. I thought that was a crystal. This is a crystal. Just, you know, chipping together a few extra points. It's not a good, not a good it's not a bad thing to have a few extras, even though the game's done. I don't think you actually get anything for getting a certain number, but... Eh. In fact, I don't even think you get anything for surpassing Black Mist score. Which isn't even that far ahead of ours anyways. If we went through a couple more levels, we'd probably pass it. What? Whatever. Attack it! We get it. Uh, attack can say random gibberish and pass it off as words. Uh, okay. <sighs> oh, luck. I'm really impatient, if you haven't noticed. I don't work well with things like waiting for AI to get to where you are. Especially when I have an option to make them not. The bug! Oh, more time! I approve! Make sure we get that before we move on. And more chanting. Yay. Booga, booga, booga. Uh, I think he's got it backwards. So I already mentioned that uh, the buttons are backwards for me, right? If not, uh, yeah, the buttons are backwards. But that's why I keep screwing them up. Throw them up, and I think there's one more after this. Oh yeah, that one'll be easy. I'll probably have that one lit by the time Locke gets over to where the gate is. <laughs> He's not even there yet. Okay, should be right around here. Oh, yeah, it's back here. I think. No? It's not? I was certain it was. Hmm. Well. Oh, there it is. It's a little further ahead. It's gone! The dog Juju must have moved it! He said we would need it just before the end of the challenge! What is it? The ancient hammer of Handy Juju! The rest of his magically created tools have long been lost. Even the fabled Philip's head of so many legendary adventures. Andy Juju, is he making this stuff up? There is a place near the end of the Great Juju Challenge, Ambush Grove. 
Meet me there. Okay, so I will see you guys again momentarily when we get to Ambush Grove. I'm gonna finish this level up again, like I did the last one, just in case I have to. I don't know if you do, but better safe than sorry. Okay, so one more to go. Ambush Grove. Let's go. Hmm. Eat your vegetables. That's a tip. Interesting. This, this is actually my second attempt doing this, because my first time through, the game crashed. In the middle of the level. Yeah, that was grand. So, I still have no idea where it is. Let's see if I can jump up here. Yes, okay. I guess I could have gotten that fire... It's not a firefly, but... That bug. Whatever. I'm just gonna keep running by and hope that I run into, uh, what's his name? Krug? Will you sit down here and sit? Thank you! Wonderful. So. Still don't have the slightest clue to what I'm supposed to be doing. Wait right there. I got your back, little buddy. Now, unlike the two levels where I had a bit of a clue with the fact that it was in the second section of the level, this level is only one section. It's one gigantic section. It's a high or segment or whatever you want to call it. There's no teleportation gate anywhere. As far as I can remember. So, uh... Yeah, that'll be fun. Just gotta shoot this door down. Nah, tax on his way. Pfft. Silly game. I'm just gonna keep calling him Krug because I think that's his name. I don't really remember. I'm not even calling this the same day as the other parts of the selfie. But that's something that just popped up on my screen. I have no idea what it is. I don't really care. Uh, it's some antivirus warning. Whatever. Don't care. Worry about it later. About that shell shock virus, which I'm not terribly worried about, considering how it's mostly affecting Max. But hmm. I've already read up on the facts. Just don't be an idiot. That that's what it all comes down to. Even if you're using a method, just don't go to obviously fake sites. That that's what it boils down to. Stun moves attack and watch him vanish. Uh, did he stun himself? Interesting. Okay. I am perfectly okay with that, I guess. Ah, where is it? I have no idea where it could be. Feels like I should be getting close, because it's not I'm starting to run out of level. But <sighs> Oh, this poor thing's harassing lock of cliffs. I don't know how that didn't grab lock, but he's coming now anyway, so it's all good. Ruffle, <sighs> Is it? Maybe it's over here. I don't know. Nope. Just bugging some crystals.
Hmm. What's here? Oh, this is the me. Okay, we can skip this. Nothing important. Oh, come on! I forgot how many fight sequences were in this stage. Get out of my way, Lock. Oh, Lock. Oh, there is a teleport gate! Okay, I don't know what I'm talking about. There is one. I totally forgot about that. That's good. That's very good for me. Which means if tradition is to stay put, we're gonna run into him any second. Yep. You okay? What was that noise? Uh, some kind of horrible creature. Where'd it go? The seven-headed one! The dark juju had it guarding the hammer! But I managed to defeat it! Defeat what? It's an invisible lizard demon! Got seven heads! Breeds invisible fire! Screamed the whole battle! Oh, gave me such a headache! And then at the end, it fell on me! Oh, yeah, I can feel its scaly body. Oh, creepy! Okay, let's... Lift it off. Take the ancient hammer, the handy juju from me. Oh, cool! Now go! Hurry! Okay, so Locke now has next upgrade he can get for himself. Which is the hammer. I'm going to complete this level as I have with all the others, you know, just to be safe. But uh, I'll showcase Locke's hammer in just a second. So, uh, see you guys then. Okay, so I'm back here in Juju Realms, uh... As far as I can tell, I can't... Oh, never mind, I do have another busting gem. They just... They just give it to me, really? Oh, so that's what they do in this version of the game. I've been wondering about that. Okay. Because in some versions of the game, it's impossible to get unless you have cross saves with other games. So I'm still a bit curious about that. But, uh, yeah. Locks number four. It's this whitish color. Well, considering how most enemies can be killed in one hit now anyways, it's kind of useless, but still, I mean, if you like the color white, you're in luck. Let me see. I'm just gonna come here and check out the room grants. I'm curious if I can get that final car now. It's our turn nope, I can't. They took it out, so that we don't get all the extra cross save features. Because one of those cross save features is the ability to use that card the Black Mist uses, that ultimate car. And there's actually another one too that allows you to get some kind of hidden Easter egg with the hourglasses. I don't think we got that one either. But that's thinking since our score is higher than the Black Miss. What? The Black Miss rules! What? So yeah, you, ju you just totally get screwed. That that's what happens. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I can't think of anything else I need to do for this game. So thank y'all for watching, and I don't know what I'm gonna do with this series now. Uh, I'm. Mentioned I'd do a redo of the Attack 1 LP because it's honestly kind of not as good as it could have been. Plus, I'm kind of kicking myself for not doing 100% when it came so close, so. You can expect me to do that sometime. I don't know when, but. I'd say within the next year, I'd expect myself to start it. That much for sure. So. Is that. And I've been trying to get a co-op LP of this game, actually, so I might get that one up. It depends on if I can get to work well, because I've gotten it to work. I've even gotten to work online. thing is, it lags. It lags horribly. So, I've got to be kind of work around about that. But, that's the trial for another day. So, I will see you guys in another video. 
hopefully. Take care until then.